shy. Hello. A loud clap sounds as Talos realizes there's another loophole that Droba didn't point out, and that loophole is the time starts when Talos accepts the challenge. So, hello everybody, how are you all going? I hope you're going super duper well, and you all want to say hello as much as you possibly can to each other. Hello is such a great and fantastic word. Um, but we're back with Final Fantasy today, and oh, look at this. I see that the challenge has been that there's a banned word for two minutes, and it's not to say the word hello. I guess I'll take that and not say it again. Timer starts now. Um, but how are you, Electro Shadow Sleepy Barry Ronan Drubber? I hope everyone is going super duper fantastic. Um, run from him, hide from him, Faceless always arrives. As Faceless arrived, also greeting Sir Meowington. Um, <laughs> so we're back with Final Fantasy X at long last. So it's part 10 of Final Fantasy X, so that's even better. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, that's off. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let me just make sure that's working. And... I was mildly late starting the stream. I kind of got lost in time. And I looked up and I was like, oh my, look at this. Um... Tells out evil, the ban word evils. <laughs> uh... So, if you guys don't remember where we were here, um, Seymour had proposed to Yuna, Seymour, the mid-twenties person, and, and Yuna, the seventeen-year-old. So, you know, that wasn't like everybody's favourite thing to have had happened, but she's considering it to save the world, as one wants to do, I guess. Um... And then, if we all recall, I got mildly lost because I didn't know where I was going in this tiny tree. So I had a quick look before, which is why I knew how to beeline for that book. But I believe down here is our way forward. Um, what's the ja so just trying to remember, what's the Japanese anime character that's a small cat? It's the white one, always wearing dresses and it is on t-shirts and lunchboxes and such. Oh, I see. I see, Barry. That's timer, and yes, that would be Hello Kitty, yeah? That is the two minutes. Um... To be fair, actually harder not to say hello when I'm Hi. greeting people than I, I initially thought. With you? No, she's at Seymour's place. I ought to have so hard when she came Seymour up before, Lord so Seymour. I wouldn't ruin this. So oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Praise be to Seymour, oh, apparently. Mr. Seymour left Guadalajara a short while ago. 
Oh, Are you serious? it's alright. We've all been I hanging out there waiting the for Yuna. Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Um. Whoa, I gotta tell the others. Did Seymour kidnap Yuna? Shilanda is a name. Hello, yeah, <laughs> Sleepy. Shilanda. Shilanda sounds like the kind of name I would make up. Like, they're like, should we call her Sheila? No, it needs to be more whimsical than that. Shilanda? Feed me, Seymour. Hello, Faceless. Lord Jisco, please tell me. Oh, no, Yuna's what still here. I she hasn't been kidnapped. Help? Yuna, let's go. Um... Probably don't ask a portrait of a dead person for guide. Well, you know what? No, plenty of people do that to Jesus, so that's fine, I guess. Hey, it's a made-up name. I can pronounce made-up names however I like. They say Seymour went to Makarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I. So did. What I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Maybe he didn't want Yuna's ah, that's answer. that's probably it. Oh, <sighs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Did you just? Hmm. You're a poor liar. Thanks, Oren. It's true. It's. I nothing. was rocking Oren's look Come for on, like two weeks go. there. I felt like a tool. Um. Saves. It sounds like a caveman introduction. Oh, I see. Like her. Her name is she. Linda. See, that would have been fantastic if another character had been introducing that character's name. Um, did everyone just bugger off? No one ever takes me with them in these journeys. Where did you all go? Probably not into this store. I'm guessing. Like, they all just ran off. I thought they would take me with them. No? Like, why does Yuna want me with her? Can I? The old team awaits at. Okay, I'm assuming then we must go this way, even though they went up. And you know what? This is fine. Like, surely that road must be the way to go, because that's where everything is happening. Friends, did you go down here? Oh my. Is this... Okay, but well, there you go. <laughs> Friends, will you come back? Oh, God. Oh, no. We're here. <laughs> I also say that they're the end of journeys. <laughs> it's one of those How stories where you can't really that? explain without spoiling the ending. I say... The lightning bear. Towers? The lightning is drawn to them. Hopefully. <laughs> we head north. Not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. Uh, I feel like there has to be I a better way to something in Bado Salam. Don't be a coward nice now. Knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go. <laughs> Orange's like bye. <laughs> Moving across the Thunder Plains, lightning can strike Jeff on the Gandalf Thunder Plain. Kalos, please remember that you can't autosave if you kill yourself because you're being a twat. You will be annoyed. I'm having to fight within my inner twatishness now. Lycan can strike at any time, so keep moving. I see a save point! I see a save point! The lightning rod towers absorb nearby lightning. Seek shelter under them. No, stop! Stop tutorialing me! When there are no towers nearby, you can dodge lightning by pressing A. Hit A as soon as you see a lightning flash. If successful, you can dodge the thunderbolt. Um, you're an achievement for zapping yourself a whole bunch of times, eh? Or dodging it. <laughs> Just, so do it one way or the other. Constantly mashing A, however, can be dangerous. Why? Good luck on your journey. Why can constantly mashing A be dangerous? Can I die? I got this useful advice for you. Don't die. Follow these top tips to see you through. And don't die. But you're playing Dark Souls, so you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Oh, you died. 
thank you for that. I love that song, Shadow. That is such a bop. Uh, he's not forcing the 15 year old to travel across the terrifying lightning planes. Look, that's legit. Not. Why, Barry? How does the 15 year old learn to, like, live if you're not forcing it to fight against a battlefield? I don't understand. Like, how else do you manage to make the child do things? Um, you died? You died, Ozzy? What did you die in? What game are you currently dying in? That did nothing to it, did it? Oh, it's you. Um... So it's fire, ice, thunder, water, isn't it? That's neither of these. Well... What will happen if I do this, anyway? That is doing nothing to it. Um... Go, Oren! Okay, I thought it was exploding and I was really happy, but it wasn't. It was just killing my character. Big Star is on an enemy for three turns. You know, that feels like a waste. I need to get him better balls. Um, they're all flying, Sleepy. I've got no... That one has a face where his crotch is. That sounds like USA's military mentality. Exactly! How do you grow if we don't throw you in? How do you get a kid to do what you want if you don't force him to fight on a battlefield for you? <laughs> Logic. Oh no! Lulu, you're hurt! Whoa. What's happening here? <laughs> Dummy. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. You know, you get out here. <clears throat> Even the noise Yuna made just then seemed concerned for her safety. Like, mm, is this the smartest choice we've done? I am true Jeff, the Thunder Jeff. Oh, you can overdrive. Uh... Oh, that's how I got to that screen. I have never touched that screen. So I'm having to remember how to overdrive. Thor's hammer. I <laughs> just realized, I think there's been an, okay. You still al I healed you with my lightning, didn't I? That's what I just did. I healed it with thunder, didn't I? Just stab it with not thunder. Are you healing me? I don't think he's hurting me. No, he's... HP 14443. So he's not hurting me. He doesn't seem to be able to murder me because he's using lightning on my lightning horse. And I'm not using lightning on him, right? Like, I'm just stabbing him. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> How's my arm feeling? Better sleepy. I went to a physio. Um, and they hurt. They, like, touch all the parts you don't want them to touch. But they're actually very happy with how it's going. And I have some, other, some more exercises to do. So it, it's increasing. It's still... It's still not fully there. But, you know, I can play controller and gesture. I can't clap, though. Clapping hurts, but I can sort of move my arms now, so that's good. It wants to um, touch us. And no, it to wasn't too desperate. I made Lulu run, and then I summoned. Uh, I like how Zach um, has in Wallen from the uh, Mike Burnfire YouTube channel described war. It's either traumatic or boring. There is no in-between. Pretty much. Like, war doesn't exactly do mundane, does it? Did I open that chat? I did. Oh, I think I dodged that. Save quickly, please. Um. So let's save the game. Yes. Did 
Did that save over? Yeah. Uh, Why does everyone focus. fly? Summon the true Jeff. Because the lightning guy, guy can't hit me. Interesting enough though, Sleepy, I still can't fully open my mouth to like eat food. It's very frustrating because I got hit on the head here and there's like still a tiny little bump. And that's like done something to my jaw. So it's very frustrating. I want that to go away because it's very, like I can't eat a kebab or anything like that. It's insanely agitating. I'm gonna use black magic and I'm gonna use Sundera on you. What appears to be a floating lava man. Wait, no. You all use lightning on me. You're all using lightning. Well then, I guess I'm gonna stab you all to death slowly. So how's everyone going? Because um, these guys ain't gonna do anything to true Jeff here. So I'm just gonna slash my way across here and I believe training Yuna is the best way to, to get all of her guys to level up, right? I hope I'm not misreading this. Like I am reading this correctly, right? Yeah, like, they're not hurt. It. Like, it's just that true Jeff looks a little sad. I don't know, their horn is pretty heavy. Um, you'll be clapping in no time. I can't wait to be clapping in no time. You're either 10 seconds uh, from dying or have nothing to do for hours on end. Yep, sounds like the army. Sphinx has described his time in the Israeli army as, uh, quite, quite like that. Um, one of the best things apparently is you'll be walking around and then wild pigs will attack and you're not supposed to shoot at them because you're not meant to wait, like, you know, lose live ammunition so you just run from the pigs. Ooh, ooh. All right. Hello, little chest. Obtain high potion. Good for us. And the fight. And you brought two bottles of whiskey today. One for me and one for Father's Day. Except one problem. I got two different ones and I don't know which one I want and which one to gift. They're Glenfinnick 14 year and 15 year. How much of a difference was, is there in taste, do you know? Have you had both before or? I would go, the one that you haven't had before, try that one. Try that one for yourself. Summon True Jeff. I feel like we're going to have a lot of the horse in the lightning fields, just an FYI everyone. Um, expect a lot of my horse. Because I like the horse. The horse is neat. Oh, well, you must really like me. Well, thank you so much for the resub there, Steel Cobrex. And how are you going? I hope you're going fantastically. Thank you for that for 11 months. That is almost an entire year. Thank you so much. Obviously, you enjoy having all the you no know, as the wonderful emotes, the soundboard, and all that jazz. But how's everything going? We're um currently on the lightning fields with a horse made of lightning. It's going quite well for us. Um, well, I don't want to join the military anymore. Nothing cool happens. Only trauma and boredom, and I struggle dealing with both. Well, see, that's the thing. In the army, the cool stuff also is the traumatic stuff. So, yeah, that's kind of, uh, it doesn't sound like it'd be your kind of style there, Odin. Um, you have an ad block, remember? I don't get ads. Anyway, that's true, but you can know that your ad block gets to be lazy on these streams. Isn't that nice? You can sit there and think to yourself, do you know what? My ad block is being incredibly lazy right now. That's always a fun thing to think, isn't it? Like... Technology, do you, I want, you know, technology being lazy within technology. Um. <clears throat> Why is this lizard not dead? Did I heal the stupid? No. Are you a thunder lizard? You, lizard, explain your life. No, you aren't a thunder lizard. Die. White magic. Oh. Alright, you know what to do, True Jeff. Stab the lightning cross man. Um, both new. One is Slaughter Cast, with the cast that's never fully drained, and the other is Limited Run Bourbon Barrel Reserve. I've had Bourbon Barrel ones before, they're pretty good. Um, uh, honestly, the difference between a 14 and a 15 year, whenever I've had them, it's negligible. I'm pretty sure it's the 15 year Glenfiddich I've had before, which it was fine. Like, 
Glenfiddich's not my go-to whiskey, personally. Um, <clears throat> like, so I, I'd say, like, either one would be fine. Die, little crossboy. Cry. See, I guess if you want to be more impressive to your father, give him the 15 one. And just be like, look, it's the old one. Why did you get two? Was there a deal for getting one or both, Shadow? Or what was, like, what's the story behind getting two of them? Um, but, like, not having one you intended for yourself. I do ones that mix the barrels, like bourbon done in a rum barrel. Those are very fun. Oh, I just got lightning on. It's the finishes that I'm after. I was also in the Dan Murphy's member office, so that's really the reason. Oh, so they're just, like, offers on each one of them, basically. Why are we doing only flying people? Air Jeff, get out here. Uh, first time I turned the gun, I get right back because the weird force, Please. um, the way it forced a revelation of this is not a toy, this is a weapon, an implement of death. I don't trust myself to not have a negligent discharge or something. Basically, it scared me. Fair enough, Ronan. I... The first time I was handed a gun, I just shot it because I was at a shooting range. But I can get what you mean. Like, it's the, oh, this isn't a toy. Especially if you, I guess, just kind of... Your own real, only real interactions around guns are sort of like through video games or movies and you've never really seen guns or interacted too much with guns in real life. So I can get that vibe. Um, I can get, I can definitely get that vibe. Where if you, when you get it, you realise that like, oh yeah, this is a proper weapon that can murder people. Um, there's a lot about the military, not everything is traumatising or shitty, but obviously the worst stories get the most attraction and are just told more often. But I know a guy who literally doesn't do anything. The most stressful part about his military life so far has just been apparently a ghost going around in his closet freaking him out. I'd say do your research. It's not for everyone and there's no shame if it's not for you. Well, the basic training is meant to always, regardless, and not be the funnest thing to get through. Um, and then once you get into it, I guess it's kind of a case of where you go and what you, know, what you actually get into, what, um, what area. Um, cause I had a friend who was in the Navy and, uh, they were like, yeah, you don't do anything in the Navy. Um, <clears throat> it is the unicorn's time to shine, Sleepy. Thank you. This unicorn is just shining so well. Look at that little thunder guy. Look at him go. He's like, I'm going to thunder you. But do you know what? Our unicorn doesn't give a damn because our unicorn is made of lightning. He eats their lightning for breakfast and then shanks them with his horn. This unicorn would go amazing in jail because it has its own shank built right in. Like, you would not, if you were in jail and True Jeff was in jail with you, you wouldn't mess with True Jeff. Like, other than the fact that he's a giant horse much bigger than other, any other humanoid and could easily just stomp you to death, he has his own shank. Like, I bet he'd get like a prison nickname, like Shanky or something. I don't know how prisoners name themselves. I don't know what prison, prisoners' nicknames are. No, I bet they're like, they would name him something ironic, like Tiny. Lava's magic increased. Is my stabbing increasing your magic? No. Um. <clears throat> shanky. Um, this is shanky. You occasionally bonk things with playing with toy swords. <laughs> True, I guess it's kind of the thing. Like, a, a sword is just a, lo a long stick that's sharp. And as long as you're wielding a long stick, you're bound to hit stuff unless you train with it. But yeah, I can understand what you mean, Ren, and you're like, you don't want to add the, um, the capacity to accidentally do the violence with it. Die, you stupid floating rock lava that's spitting lightning like a lying jerk. You're like a Pokemon fusion hiding its true element. I will shank you to death. I hope you get stuck in prison with true dress. You know what, for all of the, the not using two hands I'm doing right now in this game, we probably could have been playing Final Fantasy this entire time. <laughs> no, now we're doing two hands. What is this run rock? I'm going to touch it with my body. Go, Jeff. This is very nice. <gasps> that just randomly reminded me. Sleepy. I think it healed. It heals with lightning. It heals with lightning, but I'm stabbing it. I think it just has a lot of HP. I started watching that anime you talked about, Monster, the one on Netflix that it's set in Germany, but it's a Japanese anime. And so it's so funny because it'll have 
stuff written in German, spoken in Japanese, and subtitled in English. Um, and then, like, I'll read the German, and I'll read what they translate it through the Japanese to the English, and it's... <laughs> there's usually like, very strange little differences. Um, but the reason I thought about it was this music. Because in the anime Monster, it has fantastic music. Really great music. But occasionally you'll have, like, a scene. Like, the guy is training with like an ex um gun for hire man right like actual training and stuff and they're playing like this ridiculously happy music and it's so bizarre no read the manga i can't because i don't read manga when i eat dinner sleepy i watch tv i didn't touch you did i a strange stone can we not do anything with a strange stone Monster, I've heard good things about it. I'm enjoying the anime, personally. It's really, it's, it's a really interesting anime in a way that it's like, because uh, there's like 70 something episodes of it, which obviously is not like the longest anime in the world. But the episodes are like way slower than you'd expect from a modern anime, because it's not modern, it's it's older than that. Uh, I think it's like, I can't remember what it was. It's it's, it's like quite, a, quite fairly old. Um. Oh, I'm going to thunder you guys. I'm out of magic! That's not what I want at all. Someone wasn't learning what she was meant to be doing. Can I do Aerospark then? What does Aerospark do? I overkill you. Okay, never mind. Yay, heal me, you fool! Um, I like to read Berserk. I only have the first three volumes, though. Berserk, I think, would be a very fun read. I always meant to read it. Um, I've watched it, haven't read it. You gotta remember, my reading has declined over the last while. Can't multitask when reading, but can with shows. I think that is the problem. Like, everything is just requires multitasking these days. It, interesting how it's said in Germany. It is very interesting it's said in Germany, and, like, the main character is Japanese. But everyone is German, and, like, the characters that are bad characters in it are clearly like are also clearly drawn as that classic anime bad character it's quite a delightful anime love as magic increased well you can keep increasing your magic if you want i have overdrive so that means i can do another fight with magic jeff i don't know it's intense i would call it fun still ronan i call a lot of stuff like that fun what is it? There is, um, there is a manga. Oh god, what was it? Devil Man Lady, I think it was called? Um, which I described to somebody once. I was like, oh yeah, it's a very fun read. And <laughs> they said almost exactly what you said about Berserk to me once they read it on my, uh, my reference of, oh, it's fun. Um, was they were like, I don't know if I would call this fun. It is incredibly intense. But yeah, interesting. Not sure if I would say fun. And I'm just like, it's fun. It's all these like demons come and they eat people and it's 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 graphic and stuff. Um, but I had a fun time. I think I don't know what the word fun means, let's be honest. Um <clears throat> Also you can read manga for free online. That's true, Sleepy, but I can't play video games and read manga. That's the problem. Um, I'm glad you realize that a lot of people don't and infuriate me. I own several firearms and I've kicked people out of my house because of their actions before we go to the range. I will not invite them back to my house again, or if I do, always lock my room. For the reason there are rules for every rage and firearm safety. Follow those as you should be fine. Same with anything learning, it makes you less scared because that's just how humans are, where we fear the unknown. I'm very happy to hear that that's your attitude towards gun steel cobrax because I think too many people do act like they're not very dangerous and you should have a heck of rules around them like you shouldn't just wave a gun around unloaded or not like only use a g only have the gun if you're intending to actually use it they're not toys summon true jeff i find it funny that you always mention devil man lady but that's a spin-off of, of devil man which i don't think i've heard you mention have i mentioned devil man lady before because the, the one that i'm thinking of it's not the one because I always get the title slightly wrong. Oh, sorry. Devil Lady. That's... It's known in Japan as Devil Man Lady. It's a 1997 manga. Is this the one you're thinking of? 
Um, so the one I'm thinking of is in English called Devil Lady. Apparently it has a TV show for- oh yeah, no, I actually did watch that. Yeah, that was- <laughs> now I remember that timeline. Um, so the one I'm thinking of Sleepy is a supermodel is attacked by a monster which brings her inner devil out. However, she doesn't let go of her humanity, so a secret government agent asks her to help them fight the demonic forces that secretly threaten Japan and the world. That's the IMDB description, but the manga was slightly different. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, that's the spin-off. <laughs> that's funny. I, I'm like, I don't do the original. I'm just into the spin-off because I read the manga for that. And as I, I realized this, I was like, oh yeah, I remember that that show very, that show was like squeezed back to back between me watching a shoot ton of insane animes. I, <laughs> there's so many very strange animes that I watched that I could not even name that but I'm very very certain a lot of people haven't watched um but if I saw them I'd be like oh yeah I know that one. Oh god oh uh, they were all bad yeah have you ever like you just like you've watched a bunch of stuff back to back and it all just blurs into one mess um Devil, uh, Devil Lady is also very serious, Ronan. I know, like, the thing is, Ronan, I have seen parts of Berserk, the manga. I just haven't sat down and read the series. So I do understand it's serious. But again, it's still something that I personally would refer to as, quote-unquote, fun. Um, I'm going to let you go, Yuna, because your horse is running low on charge. Uh... But no one else can fly. Do you know what? No. Let's summon. Fire, Jeff. Um. There's a shark demon. Uh, yes! Okay, God. Okay, we have talked about it, Sleepy. Yes, no. We have. Yeah, you've mentioned the shark demon in the backstory was really creepy and sad. Yeah, no, okay. 100% we've talked about it before. My apologies, then. We have a thousand percent talked about it. <laughs> God, very... I'm just remembering that in the manga. That's so messed up in the manga. Oh, Fire Jeff sucks. I forgot about that. I regret this summon. Oh. Uh. There's a reason uh, Rule 4 of Firearm Safety is the most fundamental one and that one people put the most emphasis on. Guns are not toys. Do not point a gun at anyone unless you intend to shoot. Oh, it's fun. Like, the thing is, guns are just... It's too easy to kill someone. The amount of horror stories you hear where a gun... Like, the amount of stories I've read where, like, a toddler has found their parent's gun and either shot themselves or their parent or sibling by accident. It's just, like... People who don't look up their guns drives me crazy. Well, Fire Jeff died because Fire Jeff can't do anything. Oh, is that you done now, Yuna? Is that... Okay, that's you done. Um, do you know what? I'm gonna go put Dark on you. Um... <clears throat> Don't shoot unless you know exactly what your shot is going to strike. Be sure that your bullet will not injure anyone or anything beyond your target. Break for text limit. Uh, break for text limit. Thank you. Oh, uh, uh, can you overdrive this fury? Oh. I don't think any of you guys are ice, so I should be okay with that one. Do not aim at something you are not willing to destroy. Ig oh god, I was meant to spin the thingy. I forgot. I got so used to the... I got so used to the pony. Grand Summon? I don't know, Grand Summon Air, Jeff! What is... I... What is Grand Summon? I can't recall if we did this before. It's... An 
energy ray their asses, eh, Jeff? We won. The what's beyond it seems to be what most people seem- Yeah. People who get shot when you miss your target or things. Like, the number of times I've heard stories about someone shooting a gun up in the air and that bullet coming down and hitting another person. Um. Just seems very, very dangerous. Hello, can you heal me? Heal me or have a conversation with me so the lightning doesn't hurt me. Good day. <clears throat> Hi there. Do you just hang out Is in the true? lightning field? I heard that Maester Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. Is this Such why Shalanda is so... I have to tell everyone. Where'd you hear that? Quirky, because she like From hangs Guadal out in the lightning field and she's taking one too many lightning bolts to the head. Excited. Huh. I'm afraid you heard a little wrong. Yuna's gonna turn him down. <laughs> oh, really? That's fine, you can marry him. Yep, no wedding, just kidding. Um... Shalanda. You don't like Shalanda? That's unfortunate. Well, I'm sure that people would have rejoiced all over Spira. Shut up, Shalinda. Oh. No one wants your joy. Oh my god, go away, guys! <laughs> Summon Air Jeff! <laughs> You've got this, Air Jeff. Can you go into overkill again? I assume in grand summons is they come out with the overdrive on? Is how that works? Oh, I haven't taught you any good moves, so you kind of suck as well. That's unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> she just casually strolls through the lightning fields. She's at least a, a break from the freakish nightmare that the party is traversing. <laughs> like, she's just standing there like, Hey, my name's Shalanda. This is my home. I got kicked out for being too devoted to Seymour and annoying everyone because I wouldn't stop preaching about how great Seymour is. So they were like, if you love Seymour so much, go live in the lightning field. And that's why I'm here. I'm the one who's carved the weird rocks. I hope you've met my pets. Weird lightning gold cross thing. Frog guy with a face for a crotch and flying dragon dude. Uh, they're my pets. I love them. Hopefully you're not murdering them. Oh, all those corpses are cool. You've occurred to kill them all. That's fine because I love see <laughs> see more anyway. Bye. <laughs> And a bad joke, hey? Alrighty. So, yay or nay, guys, if you find this joke funny. The top of this cake is very cold. It's probably the icing. The top of the- we're actually almost done with this book. The top of this cake is very cold. It's probably the icing. <laughs> That's a nay from Ozzy and a nay from Barry. That uh, would be a nay from me. A yay from Ronan, though. I mean, it's got one yay at least. Any responsible firearm owner is going to understand what their guns are capable of and always keep in mind what can happen if you use it at the wrong way, which is why times you hear about firearm accidents, it's always someone who was being dumb as well as hell with a firearm or being ignorant of what it was they were wielding. Yes. Incredibly dumb with them. We got a rod of ice. Good for us. We haven't had lightning in a bit. Okay, we've got enemies. We've got a chuckle from Ronan, a boo from Ozzy. Why is it always these three? I'm so sick of fighting you three. Air Jeff, get out here. I'm Air Jeff. I land from the sky. How are you all going? Feed me worms. Please. <laughs> Just the usual so What's this please about? There is no please. Murder them. I am immune to whatever that- I'm not- Oh, I'm dead. Never mind. Goodbye, Air Jeff. <laughs> Sorry, Yuna, I'm killing your Pokemon one by one. You know what? Can we just like...
Can we all just escape? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's even... <laughs> That's even funnier that it's like her guardians. It's Yuna's garden guardians specifically. Like her two original guardians we saw her with. Other than Catman. And they both just yeeted out of there and left her for dead. <laughs> Sorry, Yuna. Oh my god, how long does this go for? What a hellish landscape. Wait, Yuna, how are you? Oh, I should heal people up. Oh my god, no! Stop killing Yuna! <laughs> she lost... I don't know why that's so funny to me. That lizard just destroyed her. Oh my god. The year is on too long. It does go on too long, Ronan. It's been a few years since I played this game, but I think I remember this part being a little bit of a difficulty spike. I see. Let me get you Goodbye. It's a good thing we taught him how to flee. Oh look, we found a rock. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! That was a close one. <laughs> I'm glad Stop he's having fun. Around. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I think she's terrified. <laughs> what? What the heck? Uh, WTF is uh, armor piercing uh, English. What was that meant to be from? <laughs> she. Wow! Final Fantasy! Hey, whoa. I wanna go home. That's a view I and a half we didn't need. I hate thunder! Let's go rest over there, please. Oh, I see. This AP English, I see. Better to cross quickly. I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? What? Uh. Going to there? Pretty please. Just. It would be better just to keep going. They're going to leave us alone. Okay, bye team. Oh hey, it's a save point. Good job, Riku. Your terror has. I'm a little tired from being lightning that available ah <clears throat> lady summoner yes just over that way how much business Thank do you think you. this woman sees in a day on the lightning road uh you it's not like her save surely you can't get that much business on the road right it's not easy being a guardian. I did not mean to talk to you. Yeah, it's not easy when she keeps dying. Cause like, wait, can I touch that book? Is that one of the... Long ago, fiends known as... Quactors? Quactors? I... I'm reading that as a... Quack. Quactors. Roamed the... The Jose continent, the Jose continent, freely they ran rampant, ravaging fields and tormenting travelers. Lord Gandalf appeared. Gandalf appeared. A man later to become High Summoner. He scoured the continent for the Quactors and drove them to these plains. Dillinger is a number one customer. Oh, I'm um, piercing English is when you hear the drill instructor scream at you from inside the tank. 
Once he's gathered the uh, Quactus together, Lord Gandalf linked the sign of X, whereupon the Quactus turned to smoke and were absorbed by a stone. I'm sorry. Uh, you meant to say it other than quack Quactus? Quack I know I'm adding a U there. Quactus? The Quactus were thus sealed into stone, faded to face lightning day and night. Until someone again links the X sign and releases the seal, and they shall suffer within the stone for their deeds. Thus did Lord Gandalf bring a relief to peoples all over Spira. He believed that the battle with Sin was only one part of a summoner's greater mission. Like cactus. Pretty please? Just hmm. a few minutes. Is it meant to be cactors, except with a Q? Cactor. Cactus cactors. That's, that's better than Quactus. What's this what? noise? Interrupt it. <clears throat> Break the door down, dude. Whoa! Yep. Uh, yes? I am. <laughs> I mean, isn't that just like yeah, a prayer I, thing she's listening? I, well, it's nothing really. I, I just uh, heard some weird voice and wanted uh, to investigate. Uh, also, I'm telling people uh, about uh, your answer. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, uh, hey, <laughs> wasn't that that uh, just called Guadalajara? <coughs> I love having these two have a conversation because it's always awkward and slightly unnatural. The sphere is his will. It says, take care of my son. Huh. I don't feel like we should just be obeying old men telling us to get married his for the son? sake of it, man. Seymour? Well, I know one way to take care of him. I'm sorry. <laughs> what were we implying there, my dear? What were we implying? Uh, what do you think you're up to? You know, you know was acting funny. Yeah, so, so. yeah. She'll tell us when she's ready. So hold your chocobos till then. I wish we had chocobos now. All right. I bet the chocobos right. wouldn't be struck by lightning. They'd be too smart. They'd dodge it. run off to in this very small store like oh she's closed the door on us okay we can't continue to annoy her oh no she's over there now never mind i want to go annoy the room um <clears throat> sus jeff very sus i know one way we can take care of him is it murder or something else like <laughs> yuna's just sitting there like what was he implying hey yuna if it's okay with riku <clears throat> shall we go Hey, Rico, are you fine? It's not stopping, is it? We've said that multiple Don't times. Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Ah! <clears throat> Put a bag on her head and just carry fine. her. Stay here. All she, right already. She lives here for the rest of her life. But you didn't just have to her and like Shalinda. That, you, know. you could be more comforting. Hide you know, under his coat. Try to cheer me up. Why? You just don't get me at all. Do hey, are you listening? I think he's long gone, Rico. <gasps> the rest of us just watching her. I'm not scared. I can I'm not scared, you hear? That took a very long time for her to tell us she's not scared. Has Lulu somehow gotten more belts? Who, who are you? Why is everyone else able to traver traverse this road without a small army? Everyone else can move up here one by one. Is it because I have a small army that I'm attracting everyone? What is this and can I have it? Obtained a yellow shield. Excellent. Can I have a yellow shield? Can I actually put that on someone? Does anyone use a shield?
Who... Who uses the shield? Um... <clears throat> Put a bag on her head like a horse. Exactly, Drawba. Exactly. You get my logic. Just put a bag on her head. It will be fine. Just like, if she can't see the light, like if she's scared of the lightning and the thunder, right? Then all we have to do is take. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at that stupid guy's head in the far left corner, swiggling it around. All we have to do is put a bag on her head, and she'll be fine. Um. You know what? Let's do some haste on me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm glad that you hold your chocobos is a recurring saying in Final Fantasy. I like that from a world building perspective. That's quite neat. Um, the lightning and the thunder. Exactly. So if you take away her being able to see the lightning, then she just has to deal with the thunder. It's a win-win. Get some earplugs. Um, that's all we have to do. No, no. Use magic. That guy. Hello, Painted Dizzy. How are you going? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the lurk. We're using a lightning horse to electrocute lizards before they eat Luna again. <laughs> Luna, not Luna. <clears throat> How does one tough lizard? Wait, no! The lizard also uses light. <sighs> okay. Time for a slow stabbing, everybody. Um, you were singing a song. Fair enough. I don't know that song. Um, did you try using different magic from the lightning monster, like water and ice? I think it's weak to water, but I forget. Um, it would be, but my horse only knows. Oh, hang on. My horse only knows lightning. Um, sleepy. So that's why I'm not. When I have used Lulu, I've used her to do different magic, but um, basically because. When True Jeff comes out, if the lightning guys are on the field, they can only heal True Jeff. They can't hurt True Jeff, but I can shank them. So it's worth having True Jeff out on the field just to shank everyone to death. Because then True Jeff gets levels for Yuna. And it doesn't, like, it just means we have to slowly do it. Whereas, like, I could tactically have everyone out there, but then everyone else would be running the risk of being hurt. Whereas, like, they can't do anything to True Jeff. Like, I think, yeah, now that that guy's actually tackled me, he did something. So that's aggravating, so I should be murdering him. So that's good to know. I need to murder him, because then, see, look, look, we're back. So what I'll do now is I'll... I don't want to stab you now. <clears throat> you see what I mean? Thank you, yes. See, there's, like... I know, it's a rare time that Talos is actually imparting tactics into her gameplay. Um. <clears throat> and we just got lightning. I feel like the lightning is there just to mess with you. <sighs> Every second encounter. See, I mainly went for that other encounter because um, the wiggly waggly lizard was entertaining to me. But now that I know that it's smart enough not to just attack with lightning, I'm angry at its existence. Oh, I think that's a save point coming up ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna flee. Quickly, run! I do love that his ability is flee. Like, he's meant to be the hero of this story, and he's the one with the flee ability. Flee! Run! Run away! This is a really long section. This is an insanely long section. Anyways, well, that's calling my name, so either I want to play it or I'm hallucinating again. I need to take my anti-hallucination pills. Well, thank you so much for dropping by, Ronan. Thank you for the luck, and... Have a fantastic time either figuring out if you want to play Fallout or take some pills. So thanks. Um, and hello, Kent0456. How are you going? Yes, we're becoming great Lightning fans on this path. Lightning Jeff, the true Jeff, is uh, having a great time. Oh, look. They're all here. Um... 
extract the speed. Enjoy that. I'm gonna have a fight because I'm right next to the save point. Summon True Jeff. Hello, it is I, True Jeff. And now we stab. Oh, what fun we have here on the stabbing the floating rocks. Wait, lava's magic increased. Are they lightning each other? No. Did it lightning itself? It is! No! Wait, hang on! Now this fight is stupid! <gasps> Wait, no, they're not supposed to do that! I think it's lightning itself! Um, the Final Fantasy 8 protagonist is cool than the other Final Fantasy. What makes them cool is Sleepy out of curiosity. Huh? Okay, no, it's dying. Okay, thank god. Why heal when can lightning? Who needs medkits? Yeah, I told you earlier they were healing. See, told you. I... I don't think I'd seen one do it so many times in a row, so I kept missing it. I know you mentioned, like, are they healing? Um, but I hadn't seen them do it so many times in a row, so that's... I thought you meant also, like, was I doing an attack to heal them? Felt like Jeff didn't want to attack. Can you stop? You're just drawing out the end. I can shank all night long, thank you very much. True Jeff is a shanking machine. Here comes the shank. Who would win? One angry rock or one shanky horse? I feel like my horse is getting tired. He's just more brooding and edgy like Batman. Is it these guys like Titus and Zidane who are silly like Spider-Man? I see. They're just a bit more of a serious character. Ah, you failed to attack. Oh my god, I regret this! <laughs> hey guys, the lightning road takes a really long time. Want to see how you can extend that time with one simple trick? Wish my horse... I, I don't know who's going to win this. Like, surely it will stop. No. I don't think any of the others have healed themselves as much as that. Goodbye, Jeff. <laughs> that was painful. I hate him! <laughs> he is the worst! Glow and Claire were more 90s pro tags and all edgy. Squints puts hands on hip and flips hair strand that's hanging over her eye. Uh. <clears throat> well, we're gonna save after that stupidity. I need to stop doing new saves. this what is this person I found the sentient head survival instincts it really did I've not seen any have any be like that what what is this fellow <clears throat> Air Jeff, peck at his hard pecks. Be strong. I don't know what to attack you with. Oh, why do I always forget that I haven't taught you the higher? Is it maybe? But hurt it. It also very badly hurt me. What about... Oh, that seemed to do decent. Yes! Haha! End it. Oh, hang on. Overdrive. Energy ray it. 
<laughs> that would be something. Overkill. And we have been hit. Ooh, glowy rock. Oh, okay. We're stopping. Good cup. <clears throat> Everyone. Wait. What's up? I have something to tell you. <clears throat> We're almost out of here. I Let's mean, go. you're not I timing. Have to say it now. Why? Are you planning on lightning Over us? There. This is the worst time to have this conversation. This is like when you've just escaped the serial killer in a movie with somebody and they're right outside the door, but you stop to have a conversation about how after you Somehow, survive this, you've got big plans. Always come true. <clears throat> She's going to marry Seymour. I've decided to marry. I well, thought so. But, but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future, and Yevon's unity. Did Shalinda get near you? I thought it would be the best thing to do. What, you're wrong. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Hey, that's fear. Is it tainted? Is this a fear evil? Show me. No, I can't. Yeah, you can. Take it from her. I you're bigger than her. speak to Maester Seymour first. No, he's... You're I bigger than her. I'm sorry, but... This is... It is a personal matter. Yeah, but take it. You're take kidding, this huh? Are we meant to be your As loyal you bodyguards? Wish. I'm sorry. Just one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then well. it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care? I mean, you're not gonna stop her? No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. So what, if she stops facing sin, you get to but decide that's... her life for her? Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Yuna, just one question. Condescendingly gets Can down on his talk knees. To Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? Well, here, like, no. I think it's kind of a he asked but yes or no question. I think it is the right thing to do. Yeah, well, you're thinking wrong. Huh? Okay, you're thinking wrong. Yes. Does the cat have anything? Uni. <laughs> Quiet! Rico's like, can I be a bridesmaid? Like, she just doesn't give a damn. I wish we could help somehow. Some way. Let's kill Seymour! Let's kill Seymour! Then she can't marry him! It's okay. I'll be fine. He murder. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. Well, you are but from the I past. if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira. Alone. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Next, he's we're clearly going to villain coded. I know, right? Yuna can talk with Seymour there. We guardians Feed will wait me, until Seymour. they're done and plan our next move. Understood. What's our next move? Because so far it's just following Yuna around as she makes terrible decisions. Poor people pleasing Yuna. Yeah. Well, pitter patter, let's get at her. Like, don't. Guys, don't. You kidding? Like, I'm sure if you all said to Yuna, this is a bad idea, maybe the young woman who has the weight on her world, like, like the weight of the world on her shoulders, would listen to you. Because right now, everyone's just. <sighs> Why does that lizard always get to go attack, like, attack first and murder whoever it chooses? Get to go again? Screw you guys. We're going home. 
So like, do you know what I mean? Like, maybe if somebody somewhere would actually like talk to Yuna instead of being like, I'm sorry. Vaguely, I'm saying the word no, but you said yes like twice, so I'm not going to actually fight, even though I clearly think it's a bad idea. Fine. All right, we're out. Rico, you could have said something. The lizard's just built different. <laughs> the lizard knows what's up. Go for the mage. Lightning uses quick. Oh, there goes everyone. Can no one else hear that weird tinkling set? Nope, okay. Rico's just so happy to be. Hey, Oren. Why are you waiting for me, Oren? You're worried about Yuna. Yes, she's about to marry a man. Of course I'm like, worried about her. What is she thinking? This is an 18th century nobility. We're not just meant to marry off the young women to the older men. To marry him. She hopes to negotiate with Seymour. What? Negotiate what? I wonder. What? All by herself? She's strong, but Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, I mean, he's already won. He's got her as a wife. If that's how she has Yuna to come to the table way. to negotiate, I feel like you've already lost. I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary, she doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. That's why yeah, you take the Sophia. You're thought. bigger than her, Oren. That makes me worry even more. If she could just tell us. You should tell her That's that. That's the way she is. But get her alone, awkward, She's and then start giggling. Serious to a fault, and doesn't ask for help. Hmm. You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, she is. But I... hard to guard. Stand by her. Always. I feel like Titus is very easy to read. They're the very easy to read couple. <clears throat> Slow pokes. Sorry. It's Please funny how calm I was. <laughs> Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. Well, I think that that's quite it was obvious. It's just her duty. Something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. That's what I kept telling myself anyway. And, well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. Done anything Yuna, to indicate actual romantic partnership? Too late. Seymour's here to take your child or, like, take your pride away. Wait, the save point was right there! <laughs> like, why would you put a- why would you code a save- Okay, thank god, I was about to lose my mind. I was like, but the save point was right there. Hold hands- I know right, Kent. Hold hands, do anything. It's like, and there was at that moment I realized all I and Yuna had ever done was awkwardly laugh at each other and talk away from the group and look mildly insane whilst the others looked on. But seriously, if you have to negotiate with somebody first by marrying them, then you're kind of already lost any standing for negotiating. Hello. Master Seymour awaits. Please hurry to Macalania Temple. Can anyone here stop you? Oh my god, who am I fighting now? <gasps> who the hell are you? And why did they give you two buttholes? I don't like this one. I shall murder it. I haven't fought it, so I shall kill it. Uh, do you know what? Haste. On a loop. Um, a special ray. Mend us. And use. Uh, Buzara. 
And hello, Boom, how are you going? This monster's animation makes it look like an excited puppy playing. It does, doesn't it? It does look like a very excited puppy playing. I did not see if that actually did damage to anything. Did, yes, okay. How are you going, Boom, by the way? We're attacking things. <clears throat> I do like the monster animations on this. They are quite a lot of fun. Oh, that did more damage. Thank you, Lulu. Thinking isn't solving anything. Did he just say thinking isn't solving anything? Because I need that to be my catchphrase anytime I'm in any game. Thinking isn't solving anything! One of this chest. Obtained monies. I would like to obtain my friends. Classic Titus Jeff. Attacking is fun. I'm procrastinating by drawing um thing thingies I want to draw instead of was paid to draw. Whoops. <laughs> What, what are you wanting to draw instead of being paid to draw? Obviously, I, I, I'm assuming you may not be able to be specific there. But what is it you're wanting to draw? We're going to flee. I want to get... Live and let live. I want to talk to Seymour. How come everybody Death else can move around is in this world, but I can't? Today. <clears throat> and death is whimsical today. Alrighty, so. Let me just kill what apparently is a chimera that met Bane from Batman. That is all I can think that this is. It's the chimera that met Bane from Batman. Look at this. Why, why won't you show me its face? I want to see its face. Is it all the elements? I'm currently trying to draw a ruined city and river from a D&D campaign, but drawing buildings is much harder than drawing other stuff. Buildings always look unnatural when you draw them, right? Like, not you specific, but like just in general when trying to draw them. They're always like a very hard thing to draw. Damn. Aqua breath. Like, I guess it has a bit of everything. Um. <clears throat> yes, death is women's. Today is actually a, a fairly fast one today, I would say. Stab him! Oh wow, that did not do a lot. I need to teach you new tricks, don't I? Ow! <gasps> no! But now I'm very upset. True, Jeff, get out here. She got frozen there for a second. He shall. Everyone, have a bath. Wait, did you use haste magic on the monster? That's bad because it makes the monster apart. I thought I used that on Lulu. Did I overclick that? Because I could have sworn I used haste on Lulu, not the monster. Because, yeah, it would have made the monster faster. But I may have looked away and clicked an arrow too far. How are you still standing? He's horrible. just ran in just to faint. Uh, <clears throat> it got combos. It does!
<coughs> I wonder how much health this guy has. Like, he has so much. Pray for us. <laughs> you not pray for us. I think we're going to die. Get back onto Return to us. Yeah, back up, Lulu. Oh my god, I swear to god, if you kill her straight after I brought her back to life. Oh my god, no! Yuna's down. Thank god! That was insane! Okay. So before I forget... At least, like, everyone's leveling up. Look at that, Yuna's got eight skill points after that. So, interesting fact, before I forget. <clears throat> so. Interesting fact. Okay, so. <clears throat> this actually takes place, uh very very long time ago um you know i thought sidebar had th there it is yeah so this takes place back um it has to do with the the lombards so the lombards were uh, a germanic group of people back in the um the fifth century um so they uh are kind of known for taking over um the area around italy and stuff like that specifically albone um, king of the Lombards uh, from uh, 568 to 774 is kind of the reign of the Lombards and Albion Albo, Albon specifically um, what he did was he, he from 569 he went in and he like took over Milan and a bunch of those Italian cities and stuff like that that's when Barry was born could afford to drop the volume a bit all right hang on Uh, you know what? I'm not sure where the volume is on that, so I'll drop it through here. Is that better, Barry? No, I'm older than that. Um, so yeah, so basically this is, you know, um, back in the century. So here, uh, Alba Alborin was born sometime in the 530s, so 530 something. Um, it's so weird having like such a low number. Uh, and as I said in, um, 569 he was invading he was known as a very ruthless uh man and he won a lot of battles he was impossible to beat on the battlefield and in fact in 569 um he killed a man called um kunimund kunimund um and he, he killed him for, uh, quite ferociously because he had held a city in siege for a few days so he killed him decapitated him and turned his skull into a cup to drink out of because that was what people did back then it's quite good um, so he turned into a skull cup, a cup to drink from. Now, he also married um, Kunimund's daughter, Rosamund, just to add insult to injury. Um, so he, actually, interestingly enough, a lot of the time, the, um, the, the skull thing was actually very druidic. Like, it's been put back to a lot of druidic things. So they think um, Alborn and a lot of the other, like, Lombards who practiced it were um, trying, like, they were learning it from the druid traditions of, like, drinking it from like you were draining your enemy's strength and vitality so it's actually a druid type thing is where it comes from um uh we turned our enemy's skull skulls into cups which was the style at the time said in grandpa sister's voice <laughs> um but yeah so he's married rosemond now rosemond obviously isn't particularly happy about being forced to marry Al um albion albion uh, and for the next three years, she puts up with having to be married to him because she doesn't have much choice because this is way, 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 way before the concept of, you know, 
civil rights or people's rights or women's rights or any kind of ideas of rights other than me big, me sword sharp, you dead existed. So that's the politics we have right now, which is if I am bigger than you, I get to do what I want to do unless you're smarter than me and slightly bigger than me. And then you might be able to either trick or beat me into doing what you want to do. It was very complicated politics. Um, but she ends up befriending uh, Alboin's her heart, like his his foster brother, uh, Helmix. He's like a half brother, but also a foster brother. You know how royalty was really stupid back then? It's one of those cases. So it's Helmix. Helmix is um, effectively his foster brother, and he is kind of in line to to the throne, but kind of not. Now. <clears throat> So, uh, basically, by 572, after three years of being married to Alboin, um, she she's over it, but this particular night, the king gets very, very drunk, and he decides it would be a really funny joke to, in front of everyone, call out to, to Rosamund and be like, come, drink happily with your father, and she forces him to drink from her dad's skull cup in front of everyone. So that's the skull cup that she tur he turned her dad into. And now she has to drink it because you get it. He, it was a joke because she's drinking happily with her father, who is the cup. That, that was Albon's joke. Um, <laughs> so she, he obviously uh, gets pissed to the point here that she decides to um, take Helmick up on an offer he's been whispering in her ear for the past three years, which is, hey, wouldn't it be neat if we did something to overthrow the king? So she decides that, yeah, I'm going to do that. So this is the brilliant plan that her and Helmix comes up with. It involves a third person, specifically the bodyguard of Albone, um, and that is Peridio. Peridio is the bodyguard of Albone, and so... What they do is Rosamund seduces him. So she seduces Peridio and then she's like, we should totally do the adult times together. And Peridio is like, yes, yes. So they do that. And then straight afterwards, she's like, cool. Now that we've done this, um, I'm going to go tell the king unless you kill him first. So that's your two choices. Murder the king or let the king murder you and so Peridio is like do you know what I will kill the king for you um because he knows that the moment that um Albion finds out that she um that he has slept with his his wife that he'll be murdered so Peridio goes in there removes all the weapons from the chambers and when the king retires for the night um you know he goes in there and Peridio comes in shortly after and assumably Alborin is like, where are all my swords? And Peridio is like, not here. Anyway, I'm stabbing you to bits now. And he proceeds to stab the king to bits. Now, this didn't go over too well with the court. So obviously, Helmix is next in line to become king. Um, and he marries Rosmond. So he's like, I'm going to marry you, Rosmond. But all of the politics surrounding the time are kind of like, you know what? That seems like not a great way to become king. And so what they do is they flee. But they flee with a large part of the army and a lot of the treasury of the Lombards. So they kind of just head off to go have their own adventure with Peridio there. Because um, I guess they were kind of like, well, no need to kill you. You did our dirty work so you can live. And that's the end of the story of... Um, <laughs> what happened with Alborn and uh, how he eventually got taken down with his own ruthlessness because he uh, he wanted to make a joke with a skull cup. Um, but yes, that is the interesting fact. Had you heard of them at all, um, Shadow, out of curiosity? Put that back on. Um, just noticed that you did a pun. The, he was married to an elbow. What is the Isle of Man flag? Um, he used a big brain move. Indeed, it's the ice... If I sleep with you, now you have to do it. And it was like, do you know what? Yes, I guess that is the plan. Nope, it is. It's, um, so I was looking into it and they're like, it's, this is what they believe happened. But again, we're dealing with something back in, you know, 572. So that's the, the facts that they believe happened. I find it very entertaining. Is it loud enough, by the way? Have you, have you seen Donna? Donna? Can't say I have. Who's Donna? We got separated on the way here. Damn it all! I've got to find her! 
I've got to find her with Calm my down. angry potato face, but my Look, biceps of if steel. If happens to her, running around in a panic is not going to help. You don't know that. Right Maybe now, that's what she's attracted to. Cool and search. Maybe, Oren. Maybe Donna loves Bathalio because Bathalio is always in a panic and she's highly attracted to panic maneuvers. And her problem was Bathalio recently had taken some Valium and he was super calm and being reasonable. And so she left him because she wasn't interested in him anymore because he wasn't panicking. And she's just about to come back to Bathalio, but you're like, stop panicking. And she's like, well, everything I loved about him is gone. Oren, stop helping people that don't need your help. You panic, Bathalio. I believe you can get Donna back. Panic harder. Oh, I just wanted to wish him good luck. In a toxic relationship with Donna. Um. This always gets loud in comparison when you're doing faxes. Or well. oh, fair enough. Um. <clears throat> I'm having being forced to drink out of the father, father skull thing was just some historic embellishment. That was that was actually one of the things that. That was why the whole looking into the, um, like, the thing is they know that people around the area did, in fact, drink out of skull cups. That it was something a lot of other, um, societies at the time were doing that were near the Lombards and everything like that. It wasn't particularly highly popular within the Lombards, so that's why that particular detail of the story has been debated. But it seems history is currently leading towards the, yeah, she did drink out of a skull cup. <laughs> because, um... Albon wasn't exactly a very nice man. It's a very to serve man scenario. <laughs> He's a true Chad. These got no. You know, hang on. Switch in. Jeef. You Jeef. It's always interesting when you get. Um, like a lot of the stories like back from like way, way, way ago in recorded history. It's crazy how far back humanity has actually managed to record its own history. Obviously quite embellished at times, I think. Or just very... No, not you again. Just written from a very specific right point of view. Do you know what I mean? Um, I deeply enjoy... Oh, what the hell is this? What is this? Oh, okay, that's an instrument on your arm. That's not your actual arm. Okay. I thought, like, this was some sort of Pokemon thing that's coming out of the woodwork. Hello, I'm here to seduce you, Jeff. With rainbow wings, we'll lead the way to secret things. Okay, are we high? Macalania Woods Butterfly Hunt. Approach the butterfly of many hues, and its red and blue brethren shall appear. What are we about to get into? But only was the looks maxing. <laughs> I think pens held with history. Just being able to write things down rather than remembering them makes it easier to remember things. Well, even then, like, like, 100% pens, stuff like that, oral, like, like, there's so many stories handed down in oral tradition, depending on the cultures and that. Um, but I also just find it hilarious how much of history is definitely very specifically written from a certain point of view. I love when you get, like, historians who do, do the whole, like, um, when there's clearly a gay person in history and, like, all of the documents that are written around the time are trying to write out the gay part. And they're like, yes, the two gentlemen, he never married or wanted to start a family or anything like that. And he always had very, very close male friends, specifically one close male friend, and they wrote love letters to each other, but as a joke, because it was clearly a joke. And then as a big joke, the two men decided to move away in a cabin by themselves to live just together with themselves as a joke. Like, just written through history through that lens. Um... <clears throat> Who's the ancient Greek guy who was the first recorded historian? Hippocampus or something? Um, history is written by the victor. Or, unfortunately, now, history is written by who is the loudest on social media. Um, the number of things I see now with people, like, just, uh Try to catch seven of the blue butterflies, but beware of the reds, for they call powerful fiends when threatened. Or the blue butterflies. Butterflies disappear after a certain time. Try catching the blue butterflies while avoiding the red ones. I like how it keeps repeating that. Now watch me catch all the red ones. Can I have you, Mr. Butterfly? I swear to God, if you're secretly red. Come 
here. Get in my net. What do you want from me? I see no butterflies. Are we going backwards? Where are the... Wrong way. I was like, yeah, we're going backwards. Back. And hello, someone. How are you going? Hope you're going well. Are you talking pre or post Twitter being burnt to the ground? Even post Twitter, the amount of false information on TikTok that people take as true facts is absolutely frightening. I'll be right back. You just reminded me that before I ever watched uh, Brokeback Mountain, I'd only heard of it from jokes people made about it being about gay guys. But then I watched it and actually it destroyed me. And it is an amazing romance strategy. It is an amazing... Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's actually like a very in-depth, terrifyingly well-done romance. Oh, Adam was found. Herotodus. That was his name. You gotta love all the... Can I... Are you... But didn't we come from this way? Okay. What the? No, no, no! I didn't want the red one! Stupid red one! I can't flee either? Fine. If you won't let me flee... Ace. We're being the enemy, but uh, attack stick talk is actually pretty good for understanding concepts from people who practice for a living. See, the thing is, with something like tax, right, Shadow? It would be very stupid to try and get attention from followers in that by making up tax stuff because you'd very quickly just be blacklisted by everyone within that demographic. But the number of times I've seen some idiot write something like, I don't know, um, Reapers being taken out of Overwatch for good and then that gets passed around because it gets viral because no one checks it because the people who are watching that aren't, you know, it doesn't affect their livelihood whether or not it's true. Um, and then it just becomes like a known fact. And then I see news articles being written about the fact that somebody on TikTok made up a lie, but the article is written as if it's correct. And then it's like, this was never said. This was just some idiot on TikTok who said it, but it doesn't affect them like it would a person doing tax on the TikTok because their account just went viral and people are like, oh, it's funny because apparently it was a joke. Whereas like for tax, everyone would be like, that's not a joke. It's just stupid. I think I recorded history all began because someone had a really cool day and just decided to, uh, to draw right about it. And people got interested in doing their own version of prehistoric Facebook. Everyone was like, do you know what? I want to write my own story. I think this would just be neat. Have a potion, Jeff. <clears throat> Down, 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 down. <laughs> like someone's just ha like someone's just walking around reading out their journal, just wanting people to be today really cool. Saw three wild cows today. Was pretty neat. Quite liked it. Want to see the cows again? Shall write tomorrow. Or just someone's diary, which is still the same thing. <laughs> just people really getting into it. Would be neat. They needed to find something to do with spare faces they'd left over after making their new skull cap. This new skull cup. That's true. They're like, what can I do? Should I write? How can I write on this cup? Oh, you know, I've got this cup, but what do I do with the rest of the face? I'll make my own Facebook. The original paper. What about Watira? I've got that. Go with the flow. Can I drown you? Okay, I drowned it. Might as well turn them into a book to re to read over breakfast. That's fair. You know you are right, Barry. Once you just once you've killed somebody and turned their skull into a cup, you have an awful lot of flesh that you could turn into leather that you could write on. Then that's <laughs> the original reason people wrote texts. Spare human flesh. No, go away. Go away. I'm. Go away. How do I? Can I go around you? How many butterflies do you want? Bollocks. Oh, blue ones, please. Come here. Let me touch you. Chest, can I touch this chest? Why won't you let me touch the chest? 
Oh, I'm back here. Have I succeeded? What? Ma'am, what happened? Change this color tracks the red and blue butterflies. Red butterflies at your limits. Get too close and they will summon deadly fiends. We not find the treasure? Oh, that reminds me of llamas with hats. Carl, I love llamas with hats. That is one of the best things on the internet ever. Um, Carl, but Carl. Oh, uh, I hate this guy. He's a very cool design. Like, kudos to them for the very, very cool design right there. Back. Okay, so we want to go up... Are you going to keep chasing me, Mr. Minotaur? Live let live. Well, you're not quite a Minotaur, are you? Mr. Chimurator. Chimurator. Ooh, butterfly, come here. Let me... Let me touch you! Obtained remedy, fine. I don't need you anyway, I've got a chest. <laughs> I was really hoping I won't go so easy on you next time. that it was going to actually attack Titus then. Like, just hit him in the head. But no, it went for Oren. Which still, very amuse. Very amuse. How is your uh, your multi-class playthrough going, someone of Boulder's Gate, by the way? Because you're going for the achievement where you, like, class into, like, everything or something? Um, pyramids were built by aliens. <laughs> I love when people say the pyramids were built. I love when people have any alien theories, like um, even things like birds are drones. I love that theory. I love how there are people out there who actually believe that birds are drones. Like that's wild to me. Everyone, focus on God, the I enemy. forgot how much I off. I that lizard is built different. I won't go so easy on you next time. Um, going very well actually, got to level 6 and about to get into Act 2. Oh neat! What um, what class did you start with and which ones are you plan- Like, do you have an order in which you I'm assuming you have an order in which you are planning to multi-class through? Uh, here is actually the top of a huge obelisk. Of course, it, you know, it's just- that's- that's the way so it works, right? Like... Conspiracy theories are always amusing. There's the blue one. You're wasting our time. Live and let live. Little butterfly. You just turned red. You know what? No, go away. I don't need you. I don't want you. I hate you. Ah, a save point. I love you. I don't hate you. Save. Saving and don't quit the game. Okay, so... Um, we're at 9.40 and I have to make sure that I go to bed on time tonight. And because save points in this game are so far in between, we're going to call the game there. But I'll do about 10 minutes of Pokemon because we actually got like the poker flute. So I'll go and we'll go, go catch a Snorlax or something like that before I call it. So I'll probably wrap up in the next 10 minutes. Just want to make sure I've definitely saved there. Um, but I don't want to... Because like I know in this game we often get stuck. Like we'll, we... You can get into a section where it's like, if you don't find a save, then you're stuck forever. So I'm going to just quickly jump over to the Pokemon. Um, and hello, Dale. How are you going? I hope you're going well. I was just explaining that I have to make sure I go to bed on time tonight because I've got work and stuff tomorrow. So because Final Fantasy loves having saves forever apart, we're going to call it there. Um, you're okay. That is good to hear, Dale. That's good to hear. Um, there's an option at Eon called uh, Yojimbo. You can find the area that she's about to go to. Oh! How do I find you, Jimbo? Um, and yes, there is a path. Githinky, uh, Githyanki Fighter. Are you going to romance Lazelle again, someone? Or are you going to go and follow, like, a different, uh, a different romance option? Out of curiosity. I follow an archaeologist on YouTube who debugs all these crazy, uh, theories. Who are they, Ronan? They sound like a lot of fun. I love here. I love having them debunked. They're always hilarious being... Oh, he's that one. He's the um. I remember this one now. You you told me about him. Someone, the expensive one, the Ujimbo one. Like he's really really good if you can afford him, right? 
Um. Because that would be cool. So, who is our actual team of Pokemon right now? Right. <laughs> so, we just got to get out of the tower. Um. Oh, Hauntly. Who? Hang on. What is this? What is, what is this Pokemon mixed with? Um. Ghastly. It's Ghastly Order. Why is it red? Like, that's what I thought at first, but why is it red? It's probably going to kill it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, shiny! Oh, no! I should just throw a Pokeball. It was a shiny! I feel so foolish. Right. I was thrown off by the red. I hate myself so much. No! No! And I won't be able to get it again if I just restart. Or a custom sprite, who knows. No, now I think it's a shiny, Barry. Why would you curse me to know it's probably a shiny? Oh, that would have been so cool. But my Pokemon is so strong. Why did this tower have to buff up my Pokemon so much? I didn't want my Pokemon... <gasps> Wait! Oh, no, that's just a normal drowsy, isn't it? Well, it's a, a droughtly, but you know what I mean. I cannot... You know what? I'm going to kill you now because I'm disappointed. You don't deserve to live droughtly. This is what you get when I'm disappointed. Medieval politics. I am bored now, court gesture. Time to die. I would have been great in the Middle Ages. I would have just been really good with the logic at the time, you know? <laughs> I forgot we made horse Sulu. Um. Off we go. If Yankee are by far and away the best race mechanically, at least since they allow you to use uh, which stats get boosted. Uh, and none of the other races allow you to actually do that kind of thing. Um, isn't human the most popular one to go? And that's just because they get a few extra bonuses, right? Oh, hey, a gas Z. Huh. Gas Z. Um, I thought I put this on that one. Uh, elf human and elf, elf are the most chosen. Ah, is that because people want to be a pretty elf? I just tried to look it up, then found a haunter across wheel. It looks demonic to save the lead. Ooh, that sounds very cool. Now we want to catch one even more. Partly because specs, partly because people are basic. <laughs> Barry call it. Why is no one else going a dragonborn? I'm not talking to anyone else who's gone a dragonborn, and I'm so sad. They're clearly the superior race to go. You get a breath weapon and a Godzilla head entering stage left all the time. I think everyone who plays Baldur's Gate should play a dragonborn at some point. No, they allow you to choose your racial stats. Get the Yankee come with extremely useful spells. They have an ability that grants you proficiency in every skill of one attribute and it can change daily. But are you like a tiny mini Godzilla? I think not. And for that Stop fact alone, waffling, Barry. I don't know. Which race is the least chosen out of curiosity? Do we know which race people just don't pick? Like out of the ones that are available? Um, we want to get them decided to play Dragon Ball purely, uh, to not play Dragon Ball purely to annoy me. Purely, everyone was just like, do you know what? I don't think we want to, like, this is the one we won't be, guys. Why are you all so powerful? I'm nervous for anything we're going to try murder. I messed up my character and went human, but I somehow made them look stupidly inquisitive such they died... Just they died to a dying mind flayer out of curiosity. I like that. You're just like, it just looks really curious all the time. Offhand, the least chosen were Gith, Gnome, and Halfling. Really? 
That's interesting. I would have thought Gift Yankee was well, actually apparently apparently there was like I was reading an article. I don't know how correct this article was, but apparently Lazelle was the least popular. <laughs> like that's what it was saying. Um, which I'm assuming is just because she's angry and yells at people. Which are like, I was like, all right. Like the thing is this: I like Lazelle more than I like certain other characters. Like, she's not my favorite character in the world, but I don't think she's the worst character. So I was kind of surprised to read that in the article, personally. But I honestly thought that Githyanki would be a more popular race. Ozzy, you have never been more wrong in your life than when you wrote the words Dragonborn. Their face ain't fun during cutscenes. Their face is the best face during cutscenes. It is the greatest face during cutscenes. I love it so much. I have never felt more connect no that's i've D jeff dragonborn is one of my top 10 most connected jeffs of all time um will was the least popular <laughs> will is just like i feel like will will is just like a rice cake like there's nothing to it it's fine it's going to do its job but, like, you're not excited for the rice cake. No one's excited for the rice cake. You're not, like, horribly opposed to the rice cake. But, like, if you have all these other options around, you'll be like, I'm not taking the rice cake. Can I have anything but that? Um, Will's entire story got overhauled due to the popular due to his popularity, and I think his voice actor got recast, too, because of it. Is it just... Wait, hang on. So, because... Why? Why? Like, what do you mean? Like, as in, they've changed it now. Early access will lie to you constantly until you learn that he accepted his pack so he could become famous. Oh! Oh! So, like, early... So, the will we have now is will after the, um... The early access. Huh. I'm surprised they dramatically changed it so much. Because that's extremely different. Snorlax. Alright. Now don't kill the Snorlax. Just step on it lightly. He's a big guy. You can do it. Okay, you're going to heal up like a twat. That's fine. Keep dumping on the Snorlax. Did they release a new batch of stats? The one I saw after opening weekend said people uh, played as Gale the most and Lazelle the least. It sounds like someone's uh, talking about the before the game got released, Barry. We might be looking at the world popular difference. The word popular difference. <laughs> uh... I just still think that the Dragonborn is the best. You have a tail and it's cool. Yeah, go to sleep, Snorlax. Do you know what? Nightshade is a guy. It doesn't affect Snorlax. Of course it doesn't. All right, fine. Flame charge it. But it does nothing. Well, I'm going to use a slightly stronger Pokemon then. Oh no, hang on. Prime Queen, you get in here. You get a chance to do things. And you body slammed my Prime Queen. But we're gonna be a, Do you remember when you're trying to fight a Pokemon? You don't want it to faint, and like you you just keep having your Pokemon slowly depleted over and over during the fight. It's super effective. Haha! -ha! My god, stop here. Why do you heal up? What is it? You know what, screw it, doesn't matter. Um I'm back. I had to write a speech for my character. What? What speech kind of speech did you have to write still? We're fighting a Snorlax who I hate and want to punch in the face. He just refuses to let me get him low enough to put him in a ball. Stop snoring! You damn Snorlax! Stop doing what your name has! Okay. Now if it doesn't wake up this turn and one can hope... I need to, like, paralyze this dude. <gasps> no, you're not allowed to do that, you twat! Leonard, get in there! Leonard, 
Leonard, thunder punch his face. I don't care. Keep thunder punching him. Hopefully he wakes up and we can paralyze him. Break his Batman. He's back like Batman, Leonard. Yeah, take that. I knew you were going to do that. Snorlax, you suck. God damn it, Snorlax. You're turning me into. Um, Belazel and Gale aren't used much. Lazelle's because she's a fighter, which many people don't like or have doubled up on the archetype, and Gale because a lot of people are already playing casters. Why is this man so hard to catch? Go run. Um. Aren't you meant to be paralyzed? How did you fix your paralyzation? I looked away. Time to punch it. This is the hardest thing in the world to catch. I swear to god. Great ball, go. Use this great ball. I mean, I know you got out of an ultra ball, but maybe you're a little bit lower. Please go in the ball, you idiot. I hate Snorlax. I don't even want to. Why did Leonard fall asleep? Now Leonard's asleep. Uh, it's for DD Fallout game I'm in called Fallout 4, a better story. The DM is basically doing Fallout 4, but it could have been, uh, which is just dramatically better. He's a pre war Marine that fought in Mexico, China, and Alaska, then retired. There was a two week period after the Sino American War and the Great War with nuclear weapons. And guess what? He was brought into a facility built by the government and put in cryostasis. Oh, that's cool! So that, that sounds really, really neat. What's the, um. What's the speech your character's giving? And hello, Luca, how are you going? I'm going terribly right now because this Snorlax won't die. Like, it won't get low enough to get in my Pokeball. And I don't know what to do about him. I'm about to beat his Snorlax ass. Um, but... Senpai noticed me. <laughs> I hope you're going well. Uh, go into the ball, Snorlax, so I can make you be melted into other Pokemon. So we can have hideous creations. I don't understand why the Pokemon fight becoming genetic monstrosity is so hard. Maybe Lennon saw too many yawns and got tired. <laughs> Lennon's like, I'm also bored. Lennon, our pool toy. Yeah, it better. S I hate you, Snorlax. I, I am mixing this with the worst thing we have in the Pokey. Yeah, use body slam. Now get paralyzed. Get paralyzed off of Lennon's pool body. God damn it, Leonard. Paralyze better. This is the hardest fight we've had. I mean, can he be caught? Okay. He's he's in a ball. He's in a thing. Pokemon Eevee is worse. The Snorlax actually flees if you take too long. Are you serious, Luca? That would <gasps> Yes! I would be so mad if it just flees because you took too long. I'd be like, I'm sorry. Are you serious? And Cuck Chop grew to another level. Oh, I would be so annoyed. At least this one did stay. Um, Snorlax plus Dragonite makes something super fat. If I had a Dragonite, I would. Snorlax's typical day consists of nothing more than eating and sleeping. It is such a docile Pokemon that there are children who use its big belly as a place to play. Yeah, that's what I want. Good. I hate you as now. Go away. I don't care about you. I don't know who you are. No, I'm not. I happen to be the daughter of Fusha City. That's nice. Come visit us in Fusha City. I introduce you to you. Go away. I know you. You're the stupid poison lady. I don't care. You're not a Pokemon monstrosity. <laughs> Me, the moment the Pokemon fight back. I hate you all and I want you to burn. Um. So... What we can do is we can try a couple of quick fusions because I've got to wrap it up shortly. I better sell spices. Yes. I'm going to buy through them. Thank you. We have so much money. No, no. Go away. Um. Ugh. 
Um, recently, he was kidnapped by women who rule a massive army of super mutants and slave collars and put around my neck and two friends and forced to fight them. Then we found an old German guy named Herbert who was fighting witches in Salem. Uh, and yes, he was given equipment by own organization. He said equipment is World War II German stuff. Basically for a meme character who has no idea what the symbols mean and wears it all proudly while fighting. Oh no! The old German guy's going kids apparently great with disarming bombs and with the collars around the group's neck. And we got brought into a base east coast and drum roll. Figure it out, it's the Enclave Remnant. And join them as just we retook Fort Strong for an independent army of super mutants. <laughs> that is amazing. That sounds like a very fun campaign. Maybe he'll turn into a blob. I imagine with Dragonite Snorlax, right? It'd have to turn into something like that. Alright, so. Organize fuse Pokemon. So this is our Snorlax. He's there. These are the things we can... We've got the other boxes as well. There's all our berries. Um. Actually, what do you think... What about, like... Grimer Snorlax. Super splices. You know, splices. Can I take this to the other box? I can. Ah. Oh. Stop fusing. Okay. So I think what I need to do. Place. So what I'm going to do is deposit, I'm going to deposit these guys, and we're going to withdraw Snorlax. Do we want to see what happens when we mix him with the sword? Um, because I'll do him with a cut. And I think if we mix him with a muck, right? Like, in theory, he'd get big from being a muck. And deposit... Deposit cock chop. So... I'm going to withdraw one more Pokemon. Uh, because of the massive battle fighting about 200 super mutants who had an entire army base equipment, the people around probably know a massive bit. Happened, we'll probably figure out it's not the Brotherhood of Seal. So I wrote a speech to introduce the Enclave to the people, and yeah, I can send you a screenshot, but it's a lot to read. It does sound very, very cool, though. If you want it, feel free to chuck it into the Discord. Um, it does sound like a very neat campaign. What about the Voltorb? What about that? Um... You guys want you want Miss Drevious? All right, we'll have a look at that one because the Voltorb would make it round. All right. Um, Grimer Snorlax sounds pretty cursed, but what about something tiny to even now to see what happens? Do we have anything tiny? We have a Weedle. Do you guys want a Weedle? Weedles, pro Weedle, Udish are probably the smallest ones I've got. Which one do you want, Barry? I wish this would allow me to deposit and withdraw in the same thing. It doesn't. It's very aggravating. Um, oh, we just want to do it with the Snorlax. So we're going to do a couple with the Snorlax and I'll have to call it there. As it is, I'm pushing the stream dangerously past when I want it anyway. Um, feel free to read and create. I will definitely read it. I won't read it tonight because I've got to head to bed after this, but I'll definitely read it tomorrow. Um, so you wanted something small, Barry. I could do Odish. Odish or Weedle. Um, all that pine cone. Barry's got no opinion as to which one I take it, or did you want the vault or Barry? Speak up or forever hold just. How did the late baby Yoda work? It. Yeah. <laughs> I think it got everyone on the start of the stream, or someone started it. It. I got here with a baby Yoda at the start of the stream. Let me put it that way. It did. Hang on. Or doju. Either works. Would doju work, Barry? Because I want to see doju now. Actually, I can do both. Why is that one there? The baby... Yeah, thank you, Dale, for, for the reminder that there was the baby Yoda there. Um... That song, it just... I don't understand. You guys are like, it's a bop. Ooh. And it... No! Baby Yoda! Baby Yoda! Fly! 
floating in a pod, baby Yoda. Thank you. That won't get stuck in my head just before sleep and haunt my dreams. No, sorry. Not at all. Are you? There it is. There's a spice I use. Thank you, Dale. Oh. Okay, so this is... Do you guys want the left or the right? Oh, my God. We're going the right, I think. The right looks... Left or right? Whoever writes first in the chat, you guys will get it. So... Um, everything is going... Oh, yeah, there's a thing that you can press to make it faster. I had to book on the Steam. Right? Pokemon are being fused. Oh. That was the most un... uncursed thing we could have done. Uh... Use... Yes. Yes, we're going to unfuse that. Use. Um, let's do you with Muma. Oh. What the hell is Muma? What was what was Muma? Muck. Oh, it was a Grimer. Oh, I see. Okay, well, Barry, you go. <sighs> okay, here's left or right. This is um the the ghost one, Mistrevi Mistrevious. Um, well, that's lazy. I know, right? That one was a boo. Left, left, it is. Doot, 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 doot. Let's the left looks fabulous. Left. Question mark. A bit scared, Shadow, as to what's going to happen to one of you. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like this one. I feel like it's going to come out of a trailer park. Uh, like a drag performer. I was right. You were... Wow, consensus again. All right. Uh, keep that one. Uh, yeah. Unfuse? Yes. Unfusing. Uh, Doju. Ah. Let's go with Doju. Left or right, guys? Left is either adorable or scary. I think right has Doduo feet. Left or right? Is it just as cursed? It might be just as cursed. What would we like? Right looks like it will give him chicken legs. So right it is. Let's find out. Left looks... I don't know, someone... <laughs> right feels a bit cursed as well. <laughs> Into Dulax. <laughs> we were all like, that can't be that cursed. He's just going to have chicken legs. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, which Pokemon? Left or right, guys? This is with the Voltorb, so I don't know what's happening here. So this is the Voltorb. I think I made something like that when I was three, right? Um, here we are. Are you keeping excellent? I I'm not keeping any of them right now. We're just running through to do a quick torturous. It looks like it's wearing a diaper. Hmm. That one I... I... Oop, hang on. Yes. And... Oh, I used my last DNA splicer. Hang on, let me go get more. You. Give me more DNA splicer. <laughs> These people should be concerned that I've already come back. Like, no, give me more. I have more science that I must do. Like, ma'am, please stop. Uh. 
item, use this one. Okay, left or right? I think right's a tiny one there, Barry. You like that one? You like the dive one? That is a Mega Man villain. <laughs> right? Pokemon are being fused. It looks so sad. The left one looks like it. The right one also was melting. That's a keeper. Um. Okay, hang on. I want to go bag. And then use... <sighs> yes. With Snorlax. Let's just have a quick look. <clears throat> it looks like Grimace, like from it. <laughs> Sassy was Sassy was one of its moves then. Yes. Use with Doju. I'm now just too curious about some of the other combos. That was the other Doduo. What's the other Mr. We're going to, yes, I will get there. Don't worry. Um, the left one started melting and the right one was the end result. <laughs> yes, I think you are quite correct there, someone. That's pretty much what's happened, isn't it? Yes. Norlax, a fuse with Voltorb. Let's see what the tiny... Oh. You know what? That one's not too bad. That one's... That one was okay. Yes. And... Uh, nope. Use on Snorlax. <laughs> Let's see if it's as... as if that's actually a feasible looking... I know, right? That one looked right. Um... <clears throat> It looks like a Thurtle throwing a tantrum. A feasible Pokemon. Oh! That one's not nearly as cursed. I think we've managed to pick the most cursed options tonight. On our first run. That one actually, like... Now that's lazy. Yeah, that is lazy. That's just someone's taken its face and put it on. Yes. Not as... Is that lazier than the one with the sword? Because the other one was just holding the sword. Use you with... All right, let's see if you... Okay, the sword one is just garbage. I'm very curious though. Sorry, I have to see. Well, that's a Voltorb, everybody. <laughs> That is an angry looking bird. It's a legit face swap filter. Angry little bomb bird. On that note, we'll definitely call it there. Me tried to call the stream early and then still goes 10 minutes over, of course, because that's what Pokemon does. Um, but that was quite fun. So we might start doing that when we do Pokemon Fusion. As we might do a little bit of Pokemon Fusion, then we might pick one Pokemon to run through and, and create some hideous abominations with. Um... Just like we did with the Snorlax, because that's actually pretty quick once we go through it. So that's not too bad. Um, but a big thank you everyone for jumping in and joining me on the fun that is um, that is Final Fantasy. I'm glad to be back with that and continuing the story. I was really getting into it um, before everything went down. So I'm glad that we're back with Final Fantasy so we can continue doing that. Uh, Grimes seems to be one of the most cursed options. Very melty, isn't it? Like incredibly melty options with that one. There were a couple of good ones. I like the Doe Duo ones as well. Um, they are interesting. So I think there's a few interesting ones we can get there. But yeah, um, and the Pokemon's always great. This Thursday we'll be back with more Final Fantasy. And for anyone in the Discord, 
um, on Friday we'll be uh, watching Predator. So that should be, I think it's 8 p.m. We'll have Predator on in the Discord for anyone who wants to jump in and join us. Watch that. That got voted in as the movie to watch. Um, but a big thank you everyone for jumping in and joining on the fun. A big thank you as well to those who do just lurk or watch the VODs. And a giant shout out to Steel Cobrax for the resub as well. Thank you so much for that. I do super appreciate the ongoing support. You all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your time zone or wherever you all are. And I will catch you next time. Bye.